to lay people and to our physician colleagues, how, what do you think the advantages of the three-dimensional histology images are and, and this unique way you've got to be able to view this in your book? Why, why don't you share with everybody the advantages of this? You see, when the colleagues, the pathologists, want to make the diagnosis, then they slice a very, very thin slice of the tissue, what the surgeon removed. Mm -hmm. And that is so thin that they can see the details of the cells. And that's four micron. Everybody knows that there are 1,000 micron in one millimeter. Now this one is a 15 hundred or two thousand micron that is one to two millimeter thick slice of a live tissue so then we can see the structure if I say duct then you think about let's say a tube in front of you when I say the gland where the milk is produced then you can imagine rubber gloves with 40 fingers in front of you right like the picture so, we've got up now exactly so then, suddenly, both the women and the physicians can understand, use the same language. Today, yep. our, our terminology is just too complex. We hardly understand each other, even within the profession. But this way, we understand where my cancer originated from, from the gland or from the duct, because the outcome is significantly different. That's right. So then the, the pathologists and the images come much closer to each other. We have a common ground to build on. Now let's say we put in fluid, that is the gland produces excess amount of fluid in the duct, which is pleated, it looks like a suaro cactus, but it suddenly it's like an overfilled sausage. Unfortunately, the cancer does the same thing. What happens with the organ? 